Yo, yo, you know how we going? We doubling up. And, um... I got one last one before the sun sets. Um, but I think this one is very important to talk about. And I know a lot of people, you know, because a lot of these topics aren't just like this Bible, straight out the Bible. But it's a lot of practical things that I'm speaking about. I said, I'm going to definitely have some Bible studies. Um... Because I've been studying the Bible as of late, especially, I would say, these past, like, <clears throat> excuse me. For, like, the past month, I've been deep into studying. Like, the month in the past month and a half or something like that. So, um, just thankful to God for giving me the grace to just have Bibles and to get more Bibles and keep on studying. So, I, I'm thankful for that, you know. So, I'm going to be doing some Bible studies. So, don't think that I'm just doing these topics. Like I said, I'm... I'm not trying to stick to the same thing, or but I do want to stay consistent now, and, and just how I do this content thing, and since there's so many aspects or avenues that I could go by, you know, this is something that I'm just flowing in right now in the spirit, so I'm going to do this, what I'm doing right now, but you're going to get some Bible studies from your boy, and um, but right now I just want to speak about this last topic that I wrote down, uh, it's the, probably the fifth video I recorded today. But, um, this is just something that I thought about, you know, just, just men for men that's just really on this journey. And just a word of encouragement because I've been here before. And there's a certain type of woman that A certain type of man attracts meaning if you're that nice guy you're going to attract a certain type of woman and she's going to be with you you might even have children with her or child at least you know I had children <laughs> but and I've seen this case a lot of times and it seems like the man always just holds on to it like the woman not gonna leave you bro because Believe it or not, you all she got. You all that's going to want her, you know, like as far as like being in a relationship with her and being with her. That's why she's sticking with you. And if she find a way or avenue or outlet out in another situation, best believe, she's going to find that after you marry her. And after you become successful whatever you in whatever venture you are and after she divorces you and take you for everything that you got. And this type of thing happens. But if you don't marry this type of woman, leave her. Leave her. And you know, Timmy, that ain't Christian advice. That ain't man. No, if you ain't married, like you shouldn't be like. I promote celibacy. Stop fornicating. Be single and be on your purpose. Get to know God. Get to know Jesus. Read your Bible, the basic instructions before leaving Earth, and get on this retention gang, the, the, the no fab gang, and and not to say this as a trendy thing, you know, but for real, leave leave her alone. She is no good for you. You're not that bad of a dude. You have lots of good characteristics and good qualities. Of a man that could possibly even lead a family. Of a man that could possibly be a good father or a great father. You have those qualities. That woman that you're dealing with is not a mother. If that woman that you're dealing with is not a mother, she don't have the qualities to raise your children, leave her alone. If she don't have the qualities to treat you well or even be able to submit, and I don't mean in no demeaning way but if she can't submit if she if she not feminine leave her alone and don't complain about her don't hate her for who she is you can't you you can't change somebody you got to leave them alone that's that and the same for you know these dirtbag dudes you can't complain about these dirtbag dudes as a woman leave them alone if you want a wholesome man, you need to leave the dirt bags alone. But if you messing with the dirt bag men or dirt bag women, that's what you want. 
you deal with what you want and you deal with what you are if you attracting this certain type of stuff sometimes you attract the opposite but in many ways if you attracted to a certain type of thing you attract it to yourself let me tell you the type of man that I am I'm going to be attracted to what I want since I'm God fearing I'm attracted to God fearing women and not to say I'm attracted to lots and lots of women like that but what, that, what I'm saying is I will be attracted to a God fearing woman if you a thought, you're going to be attracting thoughts. You're going to be attracted to a thought. If you don't want no thought, don't be no thought. <laughs> it's that plain and simple. You know, but when I look at the dynamic of relationships and like I said, you're that nice guy. Most likely she's going to want to stay with you because you're safe. You're a safe person. She's had her share of men and you're safe. So she's settling for you and she's going to stay with you until she finds something better. Happens to all of us. Some people marry that woman and get divorced. Why do you think divorce rates are so high? Because of the exact stuff that I'm saying. Trust and believe what I'm telling you. No, but I believe there's some good that could come out of, like I said, semen retention. There's some great stuff that can come out of it. First of all, you get to step back and just have that clarity. You're really going to have a clear mind and you're going to be able to see this stuff for yourself. Think about being celibate and actually getting to know a woman. And you can see surface stuff already. And in the spirit, you're going to be able to see stuff. Like, you're going to be able to see stuff that you're going to be able to smell it on them, like off rip, like, uh. You know, but when you get into the deeper things, the deeper parts of somebody's heart, of their mind and you get to feel their spirit out you know and, and you really get to know what you want you know and you get to attract that and a lot of people will use the word manifest you know like, because on this retention thing you can you don't manifest it's god presents it to you you think adam was out in the garden doing with like no 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 god he had work and he did the work and god presented a, a, a woman to help me to him so just like any like you as a man you do the work you do the purpose that god has set for you and god will present that woman to you but if you're dealing with the wrong type of woman or the wrong woman or you as a woman dealing with the wrong type of man or the wrong man then you ain't gonna track nothing good you're gonna quit this and go into the next thing this is why i say be celibate be be single Sleeping with people don't mean you single. You got soul ties. You got to break those soul ties off of you. Hmm. But if I were to specifically speak to men, leave her. Because she's not going to leave you. She's going to hold on to you. Why? I don't know. And when you try to leave, she's going to try to grab you back. It's, this is a spiritual battle, nice guy. I'm talking to the nice guy. I'm not talking to the, the, the Chads and Tyrones. No, I'm talking to the nice guy because you are a safe person. Stop being so nice. I already got a video on this. Stop being so nice. Leave her. And be celibate. And get to know God. And trust and believe, nice guy. Your life going to change. And I'm talking to you, nice guy. Stop being so nice and get to know God. Get to know Jesus. You're going to realize that they weren't that nice. And being, being nice is being able to be deceived and gullible. And uh, if you look at the, what the word nice is derived from. But that ain't like to be nice is different than being kind and respectful. You don't have to be nice to be kind and respectful, to be chivalrous. To be honorable. To have dignity. To have integrity. To be nice is something completely opposite. Don't let nobody walk all over you. Leave her. And watch how God blesses your life just from that decision. Leave her. And be celibate. And watch what happens. After that, stop the adult films. Stop the weird stuff. Watch what happens. Hold your seed, bro. And watch what happens. Leave her. Just watch what happens when you leave. Watch what happens when you leave her. 
I got custody of my three children. How many brown men you know got custody of multiple children like this? How many? I'm a part of a really small percentage of people in this world. Leave her and watch how God bless you. And I'm not saying I'm more special than somebody or less special. I'm just telling you what God has done in my life. God has done mighty things in my life because I decided to leave her and get on my job and work on myself. I got custody of my children. And y'all men that had, uh, had children with a wicked woman, get on your, stop dealing, if you got children, stop dealing with these women. Be celibate. Work on you. Get on your purpose. Be single. Heal. Stop worrying about these women if you got children, especially if you got daughters. You need to get custody of your children. You, man. Don't put it in her hands. That's your seed. If you ain't marry her, she's a concubine. And, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. But if she's not your wife and she had your children, she's a concubine. And if you are a man of honor and she's a wicked woman, you need to leave her. Get on your job, do what you need to do, and get yourself a wife that's going to be good to you. And get custody of your children. Watch how God blesses you. Because if God done this for me, trust, trust and believe, if God did this, I had the courage to leave. God has blessed me. And I'm not saying it's going to happen the same for you, but I'm telling you that God's going to bless you. If you get up and decide to leave and dedicate your life to God, trust and believe, nice guy. I'm not talking to no, I'm not talking to no, like I said, Chads and Tyrones. I'm not talking to no players. I'm not talking about no, no. I'm talking about the nice guy that had children with the wicked woman. Because there's a lot of you that get married to these women. If you ain't even marry her, leave her. She's not going to leave you. Leave her. You do. And watch what happens. Once again, I, I, I hope that I said something that could spark something in you. Nice guy. I was there before, so I know. So this is personal. Because your children's futures hang in the balance. And you, nice guy, got to stop being weak. I was that nice guy. I was weak. I was effeminate. What they call it, beta male. I, I allowed too much. And I had to stop. Even if I had to leave my children behind. I'm done dealing with it. If you got to do things through the courts, do it. If you got to get yourself together, do it. If you, if you got to be homeless for a little bit and just sacrifice that time of not seeing your children and dis disconnected from, do it. And trust and believe. God is going to bless you. Don't think that you're leaving your children behind. No, you're not. You are better. In your, if you're better in yourself and she's not allowing you to see your children, So be it. Keep on doing you. The devil wants to bring you down. And the devil will use that woman to use the children to bring you down. Stop it. Note all this stuff down. Save all the text messages. Be smart. And watch how God works in your life. I need no lawyer. I, I need no lawyer. I, I need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. God has blessed me. I have sole custody of my three children. I'm not trying to brag or nothing. This is part of my testimony. So I'm telling you, nice guy, you don't have to do the same exact thing that I did because I radically cut myself off because I wanted to improve my life. And if she wasn't, if she wasn't trying to work with me, then I'm done. I'll get custody of my children in my own way. That's what I felt like. And God was like, boom. <laughs> But ultimately, I hope I said something that could spark something in you. I'm just about done. The sun is about to set. And uh, I just pray that God blesses you. Nice guy. And like I said, I, I don't feel bad for you, nice guy. But I definitely sympathize with you because I've been there, nice guy. And like I said, nice guy, stop being so nice. Like I said, if you with a woman, you, if you only got children with her, leave her. And be celibate. And trust and believe. And get out them adult films. Stop being awkward, bro. Start focusing on what you need to. You got dreams. You got 
You, you got a purpose in life. Get to know God. Watch what happened, bro. Like I said, once again, I hope, I hope you're taking something. But regardless, may the Holy Spirit be with you. And God bless.